being most important development for the next four decades for southeastern Wisconsin and I think it will have international significance. I'd like you to take a journey with me on a magic carpet and if you will please bring a, a small genie in a bottle. At, at the ground level when we're just getting on the carpet it is a very modest initiative. 60 acres, an accelerator building 25,000 square feet, a clean room to test medical devices, uh, and a place for building prototypes. Housing, apartments, approximately 200. Add in 2017, but quite frankly we can't wait to 2017, an inter interdisciplinary uh, research facility combining sciences, engineering, and the medical field. But now let's take off just a little. We're off the ground right now. What do we see? The Regional Medical Center, one billion dollars worth of infrastructure, the Medical College, Freydert, Children's, and other specialty centers. Now we start to see GE Healthcare, and we also see the existing research park. So do we have a campus, or do we have the start of a real village? We have medical institutions, housing, research facilities, testing lab, and a proprietary company together synergistically working. I start, to see, I start to see a village attracting the best medical minds in the world, the finest scientists, the finest high tech, and biomedical device manufacturers, all combining, geometrically growing with each other, with a voracious appetite gobbling acre after acre after acre, creating jobs, tax, tax base, internationally competing for research grants, medical care, and medical devices, Pro producing an innovative Ameri American-made products, a village to design, designed to be environmentally sensitive with cutting-edge architecture. But the question is, how far, we, how far can we go? We rise up again on this magic carpet with our genie in the bottle. We see 1,000 acres of county grounds, enough to rival the biggest research park in the United States of America, a village connected to the region with access to downtown, access to the western suburbs, access to the airport, access to Madison, access to Chicago, frankly the epicenter of southeastern Wisconsin. And then the last part of the ride, the last part of the ride, we're up maybe 10,000 feet and we take a journey, we put our oxygen masks on and we see a triangle, a triangle between southeastern Wisconsin, Madison and Chicago. The largest and finest research triangle in the United States of America. A world-class research facility with proprietary companies, all manufacturing American-made goods. What do we need for this to occur? Uh, County Executive Abley, I know what it's like to be land poor, but you are land rich. A thousand acres. Use that for economic development. I know you know that. TIF, the Wauwatosa. It's interesting, in these discussions we talk about capacity. How much capacity does Wauwatosa really have? They have already used, they have a total capacity of $629 million at 12% of their equalized value for, uh, for TIF. They've used approximately $237 uh, million. Um, there's $391 million remaining in TIF capacity. In addition to that, we have state and federal contributions. You have disaster relief bonds. You have new market tax credits. Venture capital funds that WIDA, are, WIDA already has in place that, are willing, that they're willing to invest in venture capital. And pending legislation for $200 million of more funds for venture capital. We can scale this with the success of the development, but we also have to create an environment where we can attract corporations to co-invest with the state. And then what kind of funds can we, have, 
can we have available? And then what kind of environment can we create for the State Investment Board with $80 billion of assets to co-invest along with private funds, with state funds in the state of Wisconsin? These are very big numbers. It's, it's a huge development. It is, however, within our grasp. If we put, away, put aside our political differences, act as a region, and focus on economic development with a standard of excellence and a goal of exceptionalism.